All right, if you buy a trailer from these fucking clowns, check your fucking lug nuts, because they don't know how to tighten lug nuts. Yeah, this fucking trailer's lug nuts were so loose, you could spin them by hand. I am not fucking making this up. Well, except for the one on this one, that fucking snapped off. And all of them, once you put a wrench on them, spun... I mean, they weren't even on. Like, I could have tightened these tires down with my dick tighter. I mean, I've never seen them in my fucking life. I'm furious. I called the guy up. I called the guy up. And you know what he said? Oh, that's a used trailer. Yeah, we check the lug nuts on new trailers, but used trailers we don't. It's like, dude, you own a fucking trailer company. If you don't make sure they're fucking safe to put on the fucking road before you sell them to somebody, like, you need to fucking rot in a fucking place where it gets hot. Real fucking hot. Because I could have fucking killed somebody Drive around your sketchy shit. And yeah, I should have checked my own lug nuts, but you know what? When you buy a fucking trailer from a guy who sells trailers for a living, you assume there's air in the tire, and you assume the tires are fucking bolted on. Jesus Christ. So this is where I'm at now. Yeah, this is this is the gem. So this is the closest I can find. The spindle's that. Let me make sure I'm getting the focus on this correct. That's the, the size of the spindle. You know, it drops in, you hammer it in. Well, that's, you know, that's hard to find. So I tried to match the close I could. You know, that was the first one I found. This one's a little closer, but this diameter, it, it don't fit very, I mean, maybe, I don't fucking know. It might go in, like, oh, I should be filming up here, sorry. Like that one looks like it goes, this one, I might be able to hammer that fucker in. I'm just like, dude, like how many stores have I been to? Cause I was like, well, what's the part? Like, where do I get the part? Oh, just, you just go someplace and tell me you need a stud. Like, no. What time is it now? It is 6.30, and I started this at, like, 2 o'clock. I started going store to store at 2 o'clock, so, you know. Three hours, something like that? Yeah, whatever. Four hours I spent. Go to the store. I bring the lug nut and this broken part. They're like, dude, we don't know what you got. Oh, fucking Christ. So, yeah, that's fun. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fixing my brand new lightly used trailer. But yeah, I guess it's on me. I should have checked my lug nuts, but like, they weren't safe when I left the trailer. Like, <laughs> I mean, I kind of just like told the guy, like, hey, whatever, I'm going to let you go because I realized I was talking to a dude who was not going to fucking do a fucking thing about his incompetence. But like, this was not safe to leave the fucking facility that I bought it from. And I didn't buy it from a guy in his driveway. I bought it from this dealer, from that actual dealer. And he was the original seller. Like, he sold this originally to a guy. He, that guy kept it for a year and sold it back. And he, when I left his fucking, his, his place in Orange City, Iowa, OC Trailers, it was not safe to be on the fucking road. Because I, I checked my odometer. This thing has driven less than 150 miles since I owned it. And I had to drive back from Orange City. So it was like, I ain't put 10,000 fucking miles on this goddamn thing. It's like, God damn. I mean, I've got them tightened down now, but like literally you could just like, there was on one on every tire, you could just turn it like doop, doop, like it was just loose. And all the rest were just like, they weren't hand loose, but like once you put the wrench on it, it spun, you had to spin the wrench a couple of times. It's like, oh my God, dude. I've been holding, I've been pulling like 4,700 pounds around in this thing with tires falling off it. Ugh. Makes me angry. So yeah, that's my rage. So I don't know. I don't want to say that these guys are fucking stupid, but, you know, all I would say is you need to check your lug nuts on your trailer if you buy it from, well, I'll go ahead and say from any fucking place, but especially these guys, because he straight up told me, if it's a new trailer, they'll check the lug nuts. Well, yeah, buddy, because the fucking tires come in the back when you buy it brand new, but, like, I don't know. Buy a used trailer, and, yeah, you're on your own. Good luck. You might kill somebody, but you're on your own. I mean, you got to bring your own lug nut wrench when you buy a fucking trailer from that dude. I mean, well, I'm trying to think, do I need to check the welds too? Like, well, we can't guarantee that those welds are weld. You have to re-weld all your welds. Like, what do I got to do? What else do I got to do on this thing to make sure it's not going to kill somebody? Like, what do I got to do? I'm trying to think. Do I, need to, do I need to have it all reassembled because, you know, well, it's a used trailer and it's just not assembled correctly. Like, I don't even fucking know. Is this thing, does that thing need to be redone? Like, what else do I need to redo on this thing to make it safe? I mean, God damn. The best part is I was supposed to be using this thing all day hauling rock, and like all I've been doing is fucking trying to fix it. Because it wasn't it wasn't three hours ago that I started trying to fix it. Like I had to figure out how to do it. I don't want to tear this shit apart. I never worked on a fucking hub before. I watched a goddamn YouTube video. Fuck. I am like a race car in the Reds right now. 
That's what I am. I am fucking hot right now. I am a fucking angry person. Because I don't want to work on a fucking, essentially brand new fucking piece of equipment. I mean, is that... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's, it's all on me. Because I didn't tighten them up. Like, maybe I should have tightened them there. I should have brought an air compressor and put air in the tires. And I should have brought a lug nut wrench and tightened the lug nuts right there before I left the fucking place from the guy who sells trailers for a fucking living. And the fucked up part is I started playing that whole fucking scenario back in my head. And I even was like, well, are we good on air? Oh, yeah, you're good. I was like, how about the lug I even said, how about the lug nuts? We got to check the lug Oh, yeah, you're good, bud. We'll see ya. Have a good one. Have a good one, bud. You know, it's just like, oh, dude. So, moral of the story, just assume that everyone you're doing business with is fucking retarded. And just double check everything yourself. And you'll be fine. And I, and I neglected to do that. I thought this person would have been, you know, capable of... Just the, the minor things that would make it road fucking safe. That's all I was, you know, just, just let's make it road safe, right? Safe to go down the road. You're selling a thing that goes on the road. Make it safe to go down the road. I mean, if, you, if I bought it from his house in his driveway, I wouldn't expect those things. But it was literally a fucking, all they do is sell trailers. It was a trailer company. So it's like, that's all you do. You can't even do that shit? Fuck. My, my faith in humanity is fucking getting limited. Whatever. Fuck everything. So pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. Although, luckily, during my rant here, I stuck this in backwards and I realized that actually will fit, so I think I can fix it with this. I think I just need to fucking hammer that fucker in. Or bolt it down. Because I thought it was fucking too big to fit. And I realized it's, it's going to probably be fine. So, anger level down one notch. But still, still angry guy. I'm still angry guy fucking McGee here. So yeah, I think I can make that work. I think I can make it work. Fuck. Ugh! There's a chance one of my subscribers just bought a fucking trailer from that clown up there too, dude. I... <sighs> Whatever. Maybe he bought a new one, so his is going to be fine. I mean, I get used trailers and stuff, but it's like, seriously, like... The other thing, this is, this is the other thing, you know, this, this is what I thought when I first, when I first bought this thing, I was excited, you know, pretty excited. But the first thing I noticed about this trailer, and it was very, very new trailer, very new. And the first thing I noticed was, and I'll show you what I noticed. The dude did the old battery swap -a -roo. So these come with like super high-end expensive batteries. Some of the most expensive batteries on the market. That's what this trailer came with originally. And I know what this fucking dude did. He got this on a trade and he took the expensive battery out and he put this shitter Everstart in there. Because that's how they run at fucking OC trailers. I know it. And I asked the guy, oh, where's the fucking battery that came? Oh, that's the battery. That's what he told me. I'm like, well, here's the, th here's the problem. And I didn't get no big back and forth with the guy. I'm not retarded. I know what the thing comes with because I can read a fucking book. And that's not the battery he's come with. And he's like, oh, well, I guess maybe the previous owner must have swapped it out. It's like, so a dude buys a brand new trailer, keeps it for a year, and swaps the battery out because... Yeah, that's what he did. That's, I, I'm sure the new, the, the old owner was like, I'm going to swap the batteries out. I mean, the dude bought two fucking brand new trailers off this guy, traded them both in and bought an enclosed, and he was swapping batteries out. No, this fucking clown who doesn't know how to fucking tighten up goddamn lug nuts is fucking doing the battery swap. And the, oh, if you don't, that's just the way, it's as is, you're buying it like that. And it's like, whatever, dude, whatever. Hopefully all the good things that that guy deserves in life, that's what he gets for fucking not tightening goddamn lug nuts down before he sells me a fucking trailer. But I'll check them. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna go check all my lug nuts right now. I'm gonna check, fucking. I'm gonna check the lug nuts on that goddamn fucking floor jack real quick. Check all my goddamn lug nuts. Shit's fucking ludicrous. Absolutely fucking crazy. Whatever. That's it.